Alright guys, what's up? So, in this video I'm going to be going over the questions that you guys asked. Um, my last video I hit a thousand subscribers, so I said uh, that if you had any questions, I'd pick the top five most liked ones and answer them. Um, these are in no particular order, so I'm just going to start. And in this premiere game, I dropped like 40 kills, so hopefully you guys like the background footage. Um, okay, so the first comment here is from Larry, and uh, Larry's my boy. He, we, uh, I've known Larry for a little bit. He used to run the Go KZ, or is it the KZ World Record? It was like the official KZ um, Times video. So um, Larry says, uh, Bird is my favorite nuclear submarine engineer. Uh, he's close. Uh, I, I am an engineer. I, I work on aircraft carriers, but um, yeah. Y you know, after college, I realized I wasn't going to go anywhere with playing professional Counter-Strike. Um, you know, I, I, I said to myself in my last year, you know, I would try to make it work and if I really thought I had a chance, uh, I would take a year before, you know, getting a conventional job and pursuing a different career and I would try to make it work. But, you know, you know I got cut from my team after we played at ECL relegation. Uh, we didn't make it and then we got moved up anyways, but I was cut by that point after we didn't make it because, you know, it was one of our goals. So, you know, that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes, but uh, you got to move on. Okay, so the next one is from Christian Anon9169. All right, a fantastic name. Um, he says, how many hours do you have in CS2 and how many did it take for you to reach level 10 on Face It? So let me let me look here because I actually don't know the, the exact amount. So I've, I have 9,468 hours. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, it's a struggle out here. Uh, I have a lot of hours in Counter-Strike. I've been playing since... I don't know, like 2014. I got my PC in like 2012. I was playing, you know, like Portal, um, Portal 2, uh, Team Fortress 2. I, you know, just messing around playing Minecraft, and then I discovered Counter Strike, and um, the rest is history. You know, something um, I realized that after maybe like 4,000 hours of goofing off, like I played a lot. That's kind of when I started, you know, taking it seriously and trying to get better. So I'd say in the time from uh, from when I actually started to try, I, I basically started from zero. I was, I was pretty pretty bad. If you if you watch some of those old games that I was playing in um, ECA Open on cash and stuff, I was really 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 bad. You know, basic beginner uh, level. So I'd say that I have about 5,000 hours of actually trying. You know, maybe some of it's AFK and playing KZ and stuff. But you know, um, I have a lot of hours and then. When I reach level 10, face it. Uh, let me see here, because I actually don't know. Face it. Analyzer. If you guys don't know this website, Face It Analyzer will show you your um, your history. Uh, my progression graph. Uh, it's not going to show CSGO, of course. Let's see, CSGO. This site is fucking slow. When did I hit 2,000 ELO? After about 300 matches, so, you know, I, I played about 300 matches, and it was kind of steady increase, and then, um, this is about the time I got invited to FPLC, and then I kind of stopped playing face of pugs for ELO around 3,500, but this was in, um, CSGO before the ELO reset, so, uh, yeah, that's how long it took me to get level 10 faces. Next question comes from Green Little Apple. He says, congrats on the 1,000, keep up the good content and good background music. Thanks for, I, I, I like to pick good background music. Um, I really love video game soundtracks. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff. Stuff like RimWorld is some of my favorite music ever. Um, and his question is, if you can go back in time and tell yourself something, what would it be both CS related and not? You know, this is honestly a question that I've thought of a lot, just in general, going through life. And, um... It's pretty hard to answer this question, because if I'm, I'm being totally honest here, like I wouldn't really change anything about how my life's gone. Um, I need to get serious for a second here. Um, it, it's kind of hard to go back in time and you know change something or like tell yourself something like, oh, you should have should have bought Bitcoin back in like oh nine. It's like yeah, done. No shit, Sherlock, right? But um, I think that not CS related, if I was to go and tell myself something, I think it would have been to lift weights earlier. I think that um, I kind of 
squandered my <laughs> genetic potential by not lifting weights uh, earlier, if I'm being completely honest. No one, when I, this is a lot of yapping, but when I was growing up, I, I didn't realize how people had muscles, like, or were strong, you know? I just thought people were like built like that. You know, no one really told me that you had to just go and like lift weights and it's really that simple, you know, just eat, eat decently well um, lift weights and get good sleep and you'll be healthy like it's it's not really rocket science so I would I wish I would have told myself that earlier in life it wouldn't have really changed anything it just you know would have made me healthier and um, you know have a have a better physique earlier in life but you know I, I'm, I'm there right now so it's okay um, and then you know I think I would have told myself to play ECA league earlier and to like focus on playing a lot of face it games um, seeing how the best players in the world, like Donk and Zywoo, uh, Simple and them, they really, they really only played face-it matches and scrims and officials, right? They really didn't deathmatch all too often, and I spent a lot of time playing deathmatch and KZ, which, I, you know, I had fun playing KZ and stuff, but, and, you know, I, K, KZ, it meant a lot to me, and I'm sad that it's on Counter-Strike 2 in a way that's actually good right now, um, but, yeah, I would have told myself to just spam face it and i guess eca at the time so eca pugs face the pugs uh, and then get on a team and improve uh, that, that probably would have shot me way further than it did the first couple teams that i was on i was kind of messing around um maybe for like five seasons until i realized that you know you needed a, a group of a group of like-minded people at your skill level to improve um and i didn't really realize that until uh, it was pretty late and i started playing main you know i was pretty bad when i first started playing main but you know, it uh, it improved from there because I, I found some good people to talk about CS with, you know, and to play all the time. So, yeah, those are my two long-winded answers for this question. All right, moving on. Um, Suo Miyartzi asks, why is your name Bird? So, <laughs> I, I don't really know. I, I Like, I just kind of picked, I picked birds with a dash because I thought it was kind of cool sounding. Um... My, I, that, like, I had other usernames in the past, but I just settled on that name when playing CS. I don't know why. Um, I, I, you know, I like birds. And then when when I was playing ESCA, one day, I, my name was Birds with a Z, right? And uh, I just randomly changed it to Bird on ESCA, like a four-letter name. I don't know why I thought I could get it. And um, I just randomly got it. And it kind of stuck. Bird's kind of a nice name. You know, four-letter names usually people... Uh, I think four-letter names are sweaty, and they kind of are, you know. I, I thought it looked cool, so um, I just stuck with bird. Um, and, you know, I like having the one in front of my name, too, so one bird bird. Pretty good usernames, honestly, so, you know, I stick with that. I stuck with that for my whole uh, my whole career since then. I don't, even, I don't even know when that was. It was like six years ago or something. And last question comes in from Elias. Uh, and his question is, what is... What is your top three tips for solo queue phase of players? Okay, hey bro, I'm not gonna be a grammar grammar uh, police here, but it's what are your top three tips? But okay, we can let me pass that for this question. All right, I'm just fucking playing. Um, top three tips off the dome. I think one is to play a lot of face it, um, whether that's solo queue or preferably like duo or trio queue. Um, or even 5Q, I wouldn't... Solo Q is pretty hard uh, to improve from because there's so many variables. So play a lot of face it with friends. And that's kind of the second tip is to like play with people. Uh, solo Q is so, so hard. The third thing is just be, be nice to the people on your team. I mean, a lot of people don't seem to realize when they play face it is that like, your teammates don't see what you see, you know? And you can't see what they see, right? Unless they're communicating very well. So if something goes wrong, you know, people don't mean... You know, people don't mean to mess up, right? Like, if they're trying to win. If they're trolling, like, that's one thing. But if they're trying to win, they're not messing up on purpose, right? They're making a mistake. So I think it's important to remember that everyone is human on your team. And everyone is making dozens of mistakes per game, including yourself. So, you know, just be nice to the people 
uh, who are in your game with you, you know, and and if you if you can't help but like type in all chat, I would just mute the other team um, <laughs> if that's you, uh, just so you like don't even think about the other team and like what they're doing to you, you know. Um, I I guess that's three tips. But yeah, the fourth thing is like don't think about the other team and like what their names are and you know like who you're losing to because a lot of people fall into that trap of like getting mad that they're losing to somebody who they think is bad on the other team right like they've played them before and they like think like oh my god like butternut squash 69 just one tapped me this guy's full running like everyone does that right and it's um you shouldn't do that it it hampers your play and it just kind of you know tilts pe tilts you and the people around you um and you know it's just not not a great time uh Oh, <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm tying back into, the, I was like reading these questions, I'm looking at this game now. These people like think I'm cheating the other team. Um, I think I dropped like 40 kills or something. Uh, I'm trying to be nice to them, but <laughs> they're not happy. Um, I wonder if, uh, would you guys be interested in seeing like me dissecting these like premiere games and like why I can just like one tap the other team so well? Like I, honestly, when I, when I play these games, I feel like I don't even, I'm not even like out aiming them super hard. Like that'll happen like maybe like three or four times throughout the whole game. But like, I feel like the other team just stands no chance by like the way that I'm playing, you know? So like, let me know in the comments if you think that I should just uh, dissect like one of these games or have like, like 40 kills, 35 kills. Um, so yeah, all right, this was just a chill video. Um, I, I again want to thank you guys for a thousand subs. It means a lot to me. Um, I never really thought that I could get to a thousand. Um, so, I mean, maybe let's see how far we can get, you know, at this channel. Um, and yeah, if you have any suggestions for future videos, leave them in the comments. Um, again, I read every single comment that gets left. And uh, yeah, that's all I've got for today. Peace.